this video is the first video in the lecture series of induction motor and we will see about the induction motor working principle in this video or introduction to induction motor in a DC motor what was hap what happened was the field was wounded on the star starter and the current was fed to the rotor so whenever when a field was fed to the starter it created the field in the air gap and the field linked with the current fed rotor or armature which caused a torque to be induced in the armature conductors as for Faraday's laws of induction and this torque caused a rotation and the motor worked on the Fleming's left hand rule and if you see the field is created by south and north poles and the field magnets and then there are conductors each of the conductors carry a current the direction of which is shown by the dot and the cross and the torque acting on each of the conductor will cause a motion in the anti-clockwise direction in the last diagram if you look at it again then you can see the conductor and the direction of the current which is fed by a battery and you can see the direction of the field shown by phi and the motion is always perpendicular to the field and the flux and the direction of the force is shown the force causes a torque and the torque will cause a motion and the direction of the force is always given by Fleming's left hand rule if you point your index finger in the direction of the current and middle finger in the direction of the flux then the thumb will give the direction of the motion that was Fleming's left hand rule and that was all about working of DC motors if you come into the AC in AC induction motor power transfer to rotor or the transfer between the stator to rotor occur by induction not by conduction so in rotor of an induction motor is not fed by any current while an induction happens similar to the working of a transfer through mutual induction flux will be induced in the rotor this is a simple rotor of an induction motor and if you look at this diagram this is how the stator of an induction motor is and there are internal field windings in the stator which will cause the production of field and the field is a rotating magnetic field or a three dimensional field in the case of AC machines since the AC current will be fed or minimum at least two phases are required to produce a rotating magnetic field and the production of the field in the case of an AC machine and when this field which is rotating magnetic field cuts the induction motor rotor it will cause rotation so the induction motor has made two main parts stator and the rotor the stator carries three phase winding and is fed from three phase supply the stator produces magnetic flux which rotates in space at synchronous speed the synchronous speed is given by 120 into frequency divided by the number of poles the field is rotating in space so this is called this causes change in flux linkage when cutting rotor conductor change in flux causes EMF to be induced in rotor a current flows in the rotor bus as it, as it is a closed circuit this current according to Lenz law will try to nullify the cost producing it the cost is synchronous speed so the rotor will also now start rotating at a speed n and this will try to catch up with the synchronous speed so when a rotating magnetic field is produced this field will rotate at a synchronous speed and this synchronous speed will cause an EMF to be induced in the rotor conductors and when the rotor is cut by the synchronous speed it will an EMF will be induced which will try to oppose the synchronous speed and so the rotor will start to rotate so based on the construction there can be two types of inductor, induction motor rotor construction possible one is a squirrel cage induction motor and the other is a wound rotor induction motor or slip ring induction motor because they carry slip rings the three rotor windings in case of wound rotor are brought out and connected to a slip rings what this enable to do is that it enable for external resistance to be connected to the rotor circuit and it is seen that the external resistance will help in the starting of the induction motor by improving the torque so let's look into squirrel cage so most of the induction motor have squirrel cage construction it is very simple rugged rotor winding is made of metal bars of aluminium or copper mostly they are shorted at each end by rings thus forming a closed loop 
so there are rotor bars and these are shorter at both the ends so they form a closed circuit the other kind of motor is a valve rotor induction motor yeah the windings are three phase double layer distributed winding so unlike the case of squirrel cage motor there where there were single layer windings which are not windings but but ro aluminium or copper bars iron bars so these windings are st stranded internally start internally the winding output terminals of star are bought out and connected to slip rings so in case of wound motor it happens so slip rings are further connected to star rheostate making possible to in introduce resistance in the motor circuit which will be useful while starting the higher rotor resistance will have higher starting torque so in this way the induction motor slip ring induction motor are usually large motors which are requirement of high starting torque if you look at the squirrel cage induction motor so it the cage of the induction motor or the rotor construction shell looks something like this there are two external end rings and the middle portion are not windings but it is copper or aluminium bars and these bars help or they carry the rotor current and they they are the ones which interact with the stator emf for the rotating rotating flux and they produce emf in the rotor rotor bars and when the emf is produced the rotor will also start to rotate and it is seen that the induction motor or the slip ring squirrel cage rotor windings are, or rotor bars are squid it is not straight but it is squid because if there are straight bars it will lock itself with the stator field and it will cause the motor to not rotate or it will get struck at a place so to prevent magnetic locking the windings are squared and again if you see the construction of a squirrel cage induction motor you can see that the windings are internally start and three windings that is the RYB or the three faces are bought out and they will be connected to the three slip rings and this three slip rings will enable the addition of external resistance to the rotor circuit so that's all about the working principle and the construction of induction motor if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment also do watch other videos in this series to know more about induction motors